What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stranded Deep. I'm happy to have you here. This is the first episode I've recorded in quite some time. All the other stuff was done on the first day of release. And so now I have a little bit more experience to draw on. I mean a little bit, not a lot. I mean it's all still sort of like subjective where... Yeah, Splattercat knows a little, but not a ton. Now, we've got a couple of problems. We've got a couple things we need to think about in this episode. First and foremost, our arm is still, like, super bloody. I didn't roll back the save because I felt like it would be evil and disingenuous and not okay. And so, let's go ahead, and I'm going to pick at this tomato plant, or potato plant. Potato, tomato, they're all kind of, like, round objects that you shove into your mouth. I mean, vaguely. There we go. So, now that we've got some potatoes, how's our health looking? Oh, our health is fine. Our health is looking great. Now, the big problem that we're running into right now... Into today's episode, we are going to have to cross the water because there are things that we need that we simply can't get anywhere else. And so the big issue that we run into right now is that we are bleeding and also the boat is bugged. And so what I mean by that is if you save your game, your life raft will begin. You see how like out there, there's kind of like a white ring around our island. When you cross that white ring, your raft will despawn. Now this is not a big deal. I was able to swim in between islands until we got this bloody arm. Now that we have this bloody arm, it means that sharks are going to show up every single time we try to leave. And it's probably not going to be so pleasant for us. Being bitten by a shark is now a reality of our survival situation. And so in order to keep that from happening, I am going to enact zero plans. That's right, there is no plan you can enact to stop yourself from being eaten by a shark. It's sort of like a state of futility that will make you feel very, very unsettled while swimming around, so there is the distinct likelihood that we may get ourselves killed in this episode. We may die, and if we die, then I promise, I wholly promise to start over again and continue playing because I like the game and we haven't done enough shipwreck stuff. That's the big part, is that I just want to do more shipwreck stuff. In the stream, I did a bunch of shipwreck stuff, and it was great. Now, these flake tools right here, probably a good idea to have these, and in fact, flake tools are like the standard thing that most like tribal groups in the world use for a very, very long time. There's like flake tools, and there's a couple other types. I don't know. It's been a while since my anthropology classes. Is our character sick too? I hope we're just coughing from blood and not coughing from being ill. Because that would just be insult to injury at this point. Or illness to injury, I guess, if you wanted. The axes stack, by the way. Stacking axes. I don't know who made these, but apparently it was some like subsidiary of LEGO. Because our axes do stack. And because our axes do stack, we won't lack and stay on track for things that can whack all the various plants, mobs, and individuals throughout the world. There you go. There's your rhyming game. For people that are new to the channel, because seriously, there are a lot of new people in the channel right now. I like rhyming. Like a lot, seriously. I enjoy things that rhyme. I enjoy poetry. I enjoy all kinds of things. And so, aside from wordplay and just like random things that I do along the way, I think that, oh man, I'm going to bring all the essentials along with me for right now. And let's just hope that nothing terrible happens. I mean, I don't know. I could murder a shark and I could ride on the shark. And you can fly a shark in this game. I'll show you guys how to do it. It's very similar to riding a shark. Just ride the shark. Fly the shark. The reason we couldn't kill the shark in the previous episode is because we actually had, like... You can't kill them with a spear. That's basically what it comes down to. Now, I've heard that maybe you can fix this bug by crouching. And so we're going to try that first. And if that ends up working, then hooray for us. I suppose that'll allow us to skedaddle on off to other locations. However, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start out by doing this over here. Here. Let's go out this way. Why are there so many sharks out here? My god, this is like a breeding... It's not even a breeding zone because none of them appear to be getting like their struggling grunt on. They all appear to be just like... I don't know. Floating around. They don't eat anything. They don't really do anything. I figure at this point we should probably do some shipwrecks. They said that we can heal our bleeding on the wiki. So the wiki is starting to be fleshed out slowly but surely. Anyways, they said on the wiki that there's a bandage in some of the boats that will allow us to heal ourselves. Like, we can't craft anything to heal our bleeding right now. We've just got to kind of, like, live with it. And if it happens, it happens. And if it doesn't happen, if it doesn't go away, then I guess we'll just be like this, I don't know, bleeding obelisk of the dark gods for the remainder of our playthrough. I don't know. That would be pretty sweet if we could become a conduit for some kind of, like, greater old one. I don't know. We could summon, like, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Or we could summon, I don't know, there's like a million other gods. I've got them all on like these little cards because I have Arkham Horror, which is a board game based around Cthulhu and all that fun stuff. Cthulhu, whatever you want to call him. And there's all kinds of other gods too. There's like 30 or 40 of them to be honest. I've got like these big cards and they all get summoned, these greater old ones that come in and just like wreck face and like pick up babies and like throw them and do all kinds of other horrible things. Now, yeah, it didn't work. See, what I was hoping was that our boat would not despawn if I was crouching when I was going across the ocean. Because several people had mentioned that it might. So instead, now we're bleeding all over the place. 
in the middle of an ocean full of sharks, which is going to be unpleasant. There's the distinct likelihood that a shark may come and get us. However, swimming across the ocean is actually like equally as fast as rafting across the ocean, so we could try that. Additionally, when we get to the new island, we can make a new raft, and we can see if that one won't despawn. I already tested it, so spoiler alert, the rafts that you craft, the ones that are like made out of wood, they despawn too. So no matter what you do, the developers have set up on their Twitter and on the forums that they're working on it, but it's been like a week now, and so... I, w I was hoping, as game-breaking as this is, that it would be fixed like the afternoon of, but unfortunately, it hath not been, and so we must live with it, and there's a shark right over there, and we are leaving a blood trail in the water, so unfortunately, left without anything to, like, patch ourselves up and make life easier, my guess is that we'll just have to, like, outswim them, or at least hope that we outswim them. Oh, good. There's a shadow, a pall upon us. Why Paul has decided to grace us with his presence and levitate over the top of us, I'm not really sure, but a pall is upon us. If I was a girl and my boyfriend's name was Paul, I would say that all the time. I'd be like, ah, there's a Paul upon me. I would say that constantly. That would be like the joke. That would be the go to joke at every single like house party, Christmas party, any real location where there were people around who would listen to me rambling. I'm sprint swimming right now, by the way, and this is just how long it takes. I don't know. I'm going to make a cut. I just wanted you guys to see the bug where like the raft disappears, and that's all that I really wanted. If I end up, oh, there's a buoy over there. I know that people say that differently depending on what country you're from. But anyways, I call it a buoy. Now, the other problem with what's happened to us right here is this island feels like it's a really, really long ways away. It might be because we're dog paddling all the way out there. There we go. I think we were bugged. We weren't sprint swimming the whole way. I think I had to dive under. I don't know. I, I dove under and I tapped shift again. However, this does create like a major problem for us because now we're just like open to being bit by sharks everywhere that we go. It appears as though the island is actually drawing closer, perhaps. We had to get back to the island. The only reason I left this paddling journey in is because I wanted you all to see the despawning bug where your raft just like vanishes so that I'm like, I swear, believe me, because every time I don't show a bug like that and I just like keep playing the game and I edit it out, there will be some guy that's like, yeah, I don't believe you. My game works fine. And I'm like, no, it, it's totally totally a thing. It exists. Your raft will disappear as you're going through the world, and it's just a thing that happens, so enjoy that. So anyways, we got to keep an eye on our health as well, because we're actually constantly, I think we drain like 0.13 health per 10 seconds or something like that. Like, it's not a really fast bleed. It's, it's, see, we lost like two health bars in the amount of time it took us to get over here, and so it's in our best interest. Oh good, there's a shark around right now. Please don't bite me, shark. Please don't. This is one of my worst fears right now. Please don't no! No! What the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here, shark. No, 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 no. God, that made my heart jump. I hate sharks so much. They make me upset and they terrify me with their large teeth and their ability to bite and also their ability to swim really fast. And so that shark over there, I kind of want to kill him. Like, I kind of want him to make him, like, feel the pain, but there's, like, multiples out there. There's another one over there, too. And so they may try to jump me in mass. I don't know, that's... I've never attacked somebody during mass, but I feel like it would be a lot harder to get, like, confession or something if you attack somebody during mass. You hit him with a... if you hit him with a, a hammer, like, or you hit him with an axe, like... Oh, man, he's fast. He's one of the quicker ones. He's like the Michael Phelps of sharks. He's coming back, though. He's coming back, though. If you try and hit him, though, he tries to run away. That's the only way to keep him away. People had said in the comments that sharks don't bite you. I beg to differ, sir. They very much do bite you. It's just kind of buggy. And a lot of people have gotten very, very lucky on the internet by, like, just sitting there and not having anything happen to them. It's also a compounded issue because I hit them first. They don't go hostile until... There we go. We murdered a tiger shark. Let's bring him with us. Shark, come here. I might need you in just a second for science. And also, I'm going to need you so that I can fly you back to my original island, which I don't remember which one it is now. Hmm, that's troublesome. My cat is attacking me as well. Get out of here, kitty. Kitty, go away. You just want my sausage McSandwich thing that I have on the desk. Oh, the shark turned his head away. He's like, oh, you. I am bashful to be in your presence. Oh, you. Well, let's go check this. If you can hear my cat right now, she's hollering at the moon like something's gone wrong with her metamorphosis or something. I don't know. She's in the middle of evolving. If I wanted to make a Pokemon reference, because I got back into Pokemon lately. People that haven't been around, you know, just join the channel won't know about this. But I've been into Pokemon my entire life. And so, Pokemon, I, I gave it like a 10 year hiatus where I just didn't play it. And then why am I... Well, it might not be a terrible idea. It might not be. Let's use our flake tool so that we're not wasting the durability on doing other things. Let's get on this right now. Yeah, she's eating my sausage McSandwich right now and I can... Nary, can I stop her? Because I'm in the middle of an episode. See, she knows. She knows. Not to quote Neo too, like, graphically or violently, but she knows. That song plays all the time, and I'm gonna be honest, every time it comes on, I get super hyped. I'm like, She knows! 
I'm pretty sure that's like the. I'm pretty. I'm more than positive that's the lyrics too. It's just a whole bunch of hina 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 hina. That's what I say. If you're wondering what I do when I sing, it's just hina 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 hina. There we go. We'll eat those real fast. And you know why I chose that food? I just chose that food entirely to prove that I knew about it. I actually, in the first couple episodes, I don't know, I just never cracked open coconuts. I just never did it. I probably should have, but I just, I didn't. Frankly, I knew you could drink out of them, but I figured out during the stream that you could break open the coconuts and eat out of them. And unfortunately, because I preload everything, I pre-record, you end up with this weird situation where sometimes it seems like... I go forever without discovering things, even though all those were recorded like on the same afternoon. So we're going to check this boat over here, maybe. I would actually prefer it, Shark, if you would not bite me right now. God, they show up quick. They showed up quick. They knew. They knew. This is going to make for a very, very interesting chunk of gameplay, I'll tell you that much. Well, because we have the shark here, I think we could chop him up and make goodies out of him. But if you wanted to see how to ride a shark, it's kind of like this. Like, you get on top of him. And then you hold down, like, a couple of different keys. And then you can actually, you can make him fly, too. I forget how to do it, though. Like, you can hold forward and you can ride the shark, which is exactly what we're going to do back across the ocean. We're going to ride him just like this. I'm hoping that, I'm hoping really, really deeply that it ends up working. And it should be an easier way for us to travel, possibly. It'll make our life easier, I think. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think we'll fly the shark from now on. I think that we're, we're going to fly first class on shark airlines. You can also make it fly. I saw another dude do it. I forget. He gave you instructions for how to do it, but I forget how he did it. It wasn't jumping. It was like, I don't know. He did something. Like, he knelt, and then he stood up. There you go. That's how you do it right there. So here's that. You want to know how to fly a shark? All right, let's go out to the ocean. We're going to do some, like, janky bug physics right now. Here we go. So we're going to go out to the ocean first so that if we fall, we don't get injured. And so now you ride the shark out to here. Oh, man, it's not working. I mean, it's kind of working. Not really. Anyways, we need to get out to the deep water. Out to the deep water. And so now that we are out in the deep water. Well, kind of. Oh, shit. All right. So anyways, this will work. This will work, I think. Does this count as me swimming? Or do I have to be further out? I have to be, like, right here for it to count. Okay. All right. So if you want to fly a shark, here's how you do it. First off, be careful about this, because it may end up with you being a casualty. Secondly, you gotta kneel. Okay, so you don't hold the right click. Oh my god, that is gonna make me motion sick quickly. Okay, so you kneel, you hold down right click, and you stand up, and that should do it. Yeah, there you go right there. And that's how you fly a shark. You have to kind of like weasel your way around, too. And if you get a lot, you got to be a little bit closer because of the way the body bends. But if you go like up to here, here we go. This will do it. Maybe. It's like double standing me up right now because of the water. I'm being stood up by water. A pure element is standing me up. All right, we'll worry about it later. But anyways, I'm terrified to do it over land because it's fatal. And you will fall to your death. And I'd rather be eaten by a shark in this series than anything else. There you go, right there. That's how you fly on a shark. Welcome to Shark Flying 101. This is a terrible plan, by the way, and I really have no way to, like, extract myself from this. I think we might be falling. Oh, good. The sharks are bouncy. We actually survive if we stay on the shark. Good. Who knew that sharks were made out of bounce house? Hooray! I guess we don't have to die now. Well, the next thing that we want to figure out, now that we're traveling by shark, is I've gotten myself disoriented. I, fought, I forgot where I came in from. So what I may have to do here for a second is swim out till I see the buoy, and the buoy needs to be on my left, or the... You know, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. People always talk about how I pronounce buoy weird. I don't know, that's what everybody calls it around here. I don't know, it's called a buoy. That's what we call it. Hold on. I think this is the way that I came in. Maybe. It's either that one or that one. I'm not sure. It's one of those two. Unfortunately, I'm being directionally challenged right now. But what I do know is that we need to make another raft. Otherwise, we won't be able to plumb the depths of some of these like ships. And that's what I wanted to do in this episode. So, let's go ahead and I will deforest for a little while. I'll come back once we have enough logs. I've showed you how to fly a shark. But now I need to show you how to float a raft. And I'm sure everything's going to be okay. Alright, so welcome back everybody. Welcome, welcome back. I had to take a little cut right there because I figured I was just going to chop down trees and stuff, but the first thing we really, really, really want to do is start looking at some of these dive wrecks. And so I'm thinking, I'm just going to pile up the materials that I found on the island. I took a little bit of a run around. You and I together, we'll run around the island in just a second, holding hands, skipping in the sunlight, whatever you prefer, I don't know. Add in whatever verb you- well, not whatever verb you want, I don't know you like that, but anyways... 
We can take a walk around the island in just a second and see if there's anything else that we want around here. And if there's not, I mean, I'm figuring there's got to be like some more rocks and stuff laying around. Seeing as we're always low on rocks, that's kind of like a major thing to me. I got a little bit disoriented too, so I went back and I watched the footage. And as far as I can tell, that's the island we came from right there, I think. When we came into the island, the problem is that I got sidetracked by a shark on the way in. And as I came in, I think we were in between like these two rocks with that on our left. You guys have the benefit of being able to rewind and just like see what's going on. Whereas I, I have to drop out of the game, stop the recording, go watch the way that we came in so that we don't get disoriented. I've stacked up, I chopped down a couple trees. You can also fly a tree the same way that you fly a shark. I mean, just about everything in this game can use, be used as like some kind of makeshift flight device if you want to. How dark is it right now? Too dark. Okay, there's a shipwreck right there, and I really do want to make use of it. Unfortunately, I think we're going to be stuck waiting for the sun to come up. So, since we're going to wait for the sun to come up, we might as well get some more work done. Nothing says fun in a video game like work, right? So, let's go ahead and handle that. That's going to be... I try and ask questions a lot, because I always feel like I expose myself through these videos, and not in a way that makes, like, you know... Like, CPS come up and, like, get rid of my kids or anything. No, I don't have kids. But, like, in such a way that, like, you guys know a lot about me. But then, like, people talk to me sometimes IRL. And they know, like, so much stuff about me because they've watched all my videos. And they've kind of, like, Chris chanted it all or something. And just, like, noted it all to memory. And so, honestly... I used to work at Blockbuster Video. I said that it was the best and the worst job I ever had. Because honestly, like, I worked at Blockbuster Video around the time that people started to realize that Blockbuster was obsolete. Like, right around the time that, like, Netflix came out. And I remember just, like, the pained look on my manager's face when Netflix arrived. Just like, yeah, we're doomed. He saw the writing on the wall. He had worked for, he worked for Blockbuster for something like 23 years or something like that. And he was still, like, he had only gotten promoted, like, once. It was bad, man. I was like, how you gotta, how you gonna work for the company for, like, 25 years and... Only get promoted once, man. You gotta, you gotta call somebody about this. You need to get HR on the horn and be like, "Listen, I've given the, like two decades of my life to this company." But anyways, as I was saying, I've talked about my life experiences and everything like that while playing the games. And I don't know. Sometimes I wish that it went both ways. I find it fun, like all the like random people that do random like jobs and have random lines of employment that like are on my channel just watching my content, it boggles the mind sometimes. That's why whenever I have a question, I just like fire it out there and I'm like, hey, dentist in the audience, what happens if this happens? And I almost promise you like a dentist will show up and answer the question. You'd be like, police officer, is somebody allowed to do this? And then I promise you some police officer will show up and like answer the question. It's crazy. It's like I have my own personal Ask Jeeves. It's like I don't even need Google anymore. No, I still need Google. I need Google constantly. I Googled Stranded Deep just a second ago for the wiki so I could figure out how to stop the bleeding because I had no idea how to stop our bleeding. Our ghostly levitating hatchet right there. The sun's gonna come up in just a second. The problem that we're running into right now is that it's very, very difficult to treasure dive. Treasure dive! It's kind of like a treasure bath, but a little bit less luxurious. A little bit less luxurious. Oh my god. It gets really... It's You know how they are, they're always like, It's always darkest before the dawn. And then Batman pops out or something like that. That's The game takes this to heart. And the game gets really, really dark right before dawn comes up. So anyways, why dawn is coming along in our adventures with us, I don't know. I don't really like dawn that much. She... I don't... She's a lot to deal with. That's the problem with dawn. Is that dawn is just a lot to take in. Like, sometimes you're just like, Dawn, I need you to calm down. Did you eat my yogurt out of the fridge, Dawn? I explicitly, I wrote my name on my yogurt so that you guys, my, my loving co-workers, mostly you though, Dawn, would not eat my stuff that I put in here, and now my yogurt's gone, and it was my peach yogurt. I bought it yesterday at the bodega, and it was the only thing that I wanted this entire day. The entire day, and now my yogurt's gone, Dawn, and so now I have to talk about you in an episode, Dawn. Damn it, Dawn. Damn it. Anyways... Now that the sun's coming up, oh my god, it's blinding, it's blinding me with beauty. Where did the shark go? Oh, Jesus. Wait, did the game just, what? Oh, man. Alright, so we might have to do this the hard way. I really kind of wanted to do some ship dives in this episode, but there was like a lot of stuff we had to get done, especially after our raft decided to no longer exist. It's, it's one of those little things that uh, I still can't see like at all. So we gotta wait for the sun to come up, which is a disappointing facet of this whole adventure. I think what I'm gonna do for right now is we'll just wait. It rains a lot in this game, which I guess is very, very accurate for tropical climes. I mean, but, you know, still gotta wait for some kind of daylight to come out right here. Otherwise, we're gonna be hosed. It's a little bit better. It's a little bit better right now. Oh, this wreck is weak. Yeah, this is, like, kind of dangerous. In a lot of ways, we're sort of, like, blind diving right now. 
and that's like a horrible plan. That's not the way to like go about your life. Ooh, don't get stuck in ships in this game, by the way. You know how they're sunk, like sunken ships? I've taken to call them stuck in ships because you get stuck inside them like all the time. There's like five or six different models of ship that you can get like stuck in on accident. And you just be like, oh man. Let's make a raft real fast. We'll float out to this guy over here and we'll see if there's anything on the deck. I doubt there will be, but we can go look. And if you wanted to do this, the way that you do this is you put it. Oh, I forgot my hammer. You need a hammer to make a... I have rocks, though, and I could get lashing pretty easily. Here, let's get on that. I guess I can make a makeshift hammer, even though it's kind of like a waste of resources. Considering how few rocks we have, I feel like it's a bad plan, but we may have to. That or what I could do is I could swim back to base in between episodes. We could cut this right here, and then we could come back. I mean, like, the entire episode was basically me, like, paddling over here, and now the rain has decided to... You know what? This is bullshit. All right, so there we go. Now we are ready. Oh, a free rock. Yeah. I love rocks in this game. They make me happy. Apparently there's a shark around right now just like hanging out because it's playing the music. But now we can finally dive into this wreck. Like, oh my God. Seriously, that was like the adventure of a century just waiting for the rain to go away. I seriously just stood here. That's all that I did is I stood here until the rain went away. Now we can see. So we can actually see if there's any like bounty that we want right now. Why we need a paper? Well, we could use a paper towel. Actually, I was gonna say why we would need a paper towel right now. I'm not really sure, but actually, a paper towel would be great. We're kind of we're kind of bleeding all of our bloods all over all of those areas that you know bloods are known to fall. Unfortunately, there's nothing here but reading material. So I guess we've got like some free toilet paper in here. But other than that, yeah, we're getting stuck again. There's like a clipping plane here. There we go. There's a clipping plane in there, and it's problematic. It's problematic. All right, so we took a, I, you take too much damage from water, so what'll, what'll happen is if you like go down in water too much and you allow your vision to become too blurry too consistently, what'll start happening is you'll get sick. That's basically all that's gonna happen here. I was gonna try and come up with some roundabout way of expressing it, but no, you just get sick. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna attempt to fly a shark home. I don't know if this is gonna work very well, but we're gonna give it a go. I guess I could, I've, we found an extra rock though, so I suppose if we could find some of the Yucca plant around here. Yeah, that'll do it right there. You know how bad it must be for yucca self-esteem to be called a yucca plant? Like, yuck, it's a yucca plant. Like, it must be horrible. Every time somebody sees, they call you a yucca plant. It's not like you're a yay plant. Like a yay plant, people be like, all right. Although that's kind of funny because yay is the nickname for cocaine here. So that would be kind of funny too. I assume you'd end up with some kind of like smackhead running around just being like, where's my yay plant at? And there we go. We'll grab that right there. All right. We have all three of the things we need. And order to make the hammer, I think. Yeah. The crude hammer. So the crude hammer has been crafted. Where did it go? Crude hammer? Oh, it actually, why is it over here? I crafted it off the left. The hammer is running away from us right now. The hammer is running away from us. So if you want to build a raft, all you have to do is you take a foundation and you just put it out in the water and then it'll turn into a raft. That's it. Like seriously, that's all that it takes. That is the only part of the plan that requires anything. Now this still might not work. There is a small likelihood in this situation where the ropes come from too. We lash it together with something. There is a small likelihood here. Here, you get on there. Oh man, you're too... See, this is why I told you to go on a diet before the series, man. Now look, I can't... <sighs> All right, well, anyways, the shark's too fat to fit on the boat, so unfortunately we'll have to figure out... I think I kind of want to fly the shark first, just to see what'll happen. But I don't know. We can do whatever we want, I guess. I suppose that I'll break the episode off right here while I contemplate whether we'll be tra traveling via shark, or whether we'll be traveling, like, you know, via any other method like raft. I'll see y'all later. Hi, do everybody.